Standard 7th Maths Chapter 3 HCF and LCM Practice Set 13 Today, let us learn how to find the LCM of the given numbers. Method 1 The numbers given are 12 and 15. Okay, so we first find the prime factors of 12 and 15. Then we write down the factors of 12 and factors of 15. Underline the common factors. Common factor is 3. So, till here you have studied in the previous practice set that the common factor is the HCF. Now when we find LCM, we have to write the common factor multiplied by the remaining factors. So the common factor 3 we write once and all the other factors that is into 2 into 2 into 5 and the product answer is 60 that is the LCM. So finding LCM means multiplying the remaining factors to HCF of that number. So HCF was 3, the common factor is 3, HCF is 3 and the remaining factors when you multiply with 3 you get the LCM. Let's see method 2. Now we have again the first sum 12 and 15 as the numbers. We take them together 3, 4 is 12, 3, 5 is 15. LCM is equal to the number on the left side column that is 3 into the bottom row 4 and 5. 3 into 4 into 5 is 60. So this way by second method where we take the two numbers together to factorize we can find LCM. Left side factors multiplied by the bottom row we get the LCM. Okay. Now we know that 4 and 5 we cannot further factorize by a common factor. So we leave it as it is. Okay. You have learned this in the previous practice set. So you can choose between the two methods whichever is convenient to you. Sum number 2. Question is 6, 8 and 10. Now factors, if we find separately, we get like this. We write down the factors. Factors of 6 are 2 into 3. Factors of 8 are 2 into 2 into 2. And factors of 10 are 2 into 5. Underline the common factors. Write it down once as common factor. And LCM will be this common factor multiplied by all the remaining factors which comes to 120. So this way you can find the LCM by finding the prime factors of the given number separately or together. We take 6, 8, 10 together. We know that both, all these three numbers are divisible by 2. So 2, 3 is a 6, 2, 4 is a 8, 2, 5 is a 10. And then we get the LCM is the left hand side factor 2 multiply by the remaining numbers present in the last bottom row. That is 3 into 4 into 5 which is 120. So this way we have factorized the number 6, 8 and 10 and we have found its LCM. Okay. Let's go to question number 3, 18 and 32. 18 and 32 can be factorized by number 2. So 2 9s are 18, 2 16s are 32. 9 and 16 cannot be factorized further. So LCM will be left hand side 2 into the remaining 9 and 16. 9 into 16. So the answer is 288. 
So this way we can easily find LCM by first finding the prime factors, common factors of two number. The remaining we have to multiply along with the common factor. Then you get the total as LCM, least common multiple. Let's see the fourth sum here. Okay. Now, let's see the fourth sum numbers. 10, 15, 20. Now, 10, 15, 20, you find the factors first. So, 2 5s are 10, 5 1s are 5. 3 5s are 15, 5 1s are 5. 2 10s are 20, 2 5s are 10 and 5 1s are 5. We write down the factors here. Now we underline 5 is common in all 3. So we underline 5. Now when finding LCM, we also have to see if there are common numbers between any 2 given numbers. So between 10 and 20, we see 2 is common. So we circle it. Okay. This is the difference while finding LCM. When finding HCF, we see which is common in all 3. If there are 3 numbers in the question. But while find, finding LCM, we see the common in all 3 and common in 2 also. Now this 3 is not common with any other factors. So we leave it. Now the common factors while finding LCM will be common in 3, 5 and common in 2 is 2. So this 2 will come under common factors. And finally LCM will be this common factors which we have underlined and circled into the remaining ones. 3 and 2 is left out. So we take them. 5 into 2 is 10. 10 3s are 30. 32 is 60 is your LCM. Let's see the same sum by the other method. Both the methods are easy. You will have to practice and see which one is suitable for you. 10, 15, 20 are our numbers. Common factor is 5. 5 2s are 10. 5 3s are 15. 5 4s are 20. Then we see that the leftover numbers are 2, 3 and 4. We know that 2 and 4 can be divided by 2. So we will do that. 2 1s are 2. 3 we bring down as it is. Since we cannot operate it, we bring it down as it is. You can't divide 3 by 2. 2 twos are 4. So this is very important what you have to remember. When two numbers can be divided by a factor, you can proceed in while finding LCM. So now LCM will be the left hand side 5 into 2 into the bottom. Now 3 and 2 cannot be divided further. There are no factors. So we keep them as it is and we take them here into 3 into 2. Final answer 5 twos are 10, 10 threes are 30, 30 twos are 60. So this way you can find LCM of the given numbers. So what exactly is LCM? The least common multiple of the given numbers is the smallest number that is divisible by each of the given numbers. So, 60 is the smallest number which is divisible by 10, 15 as well as 20. So, that's what we are learning now. The least common multiple. Let's go to sum number 5. 45 and 86 do not have any common factor. So, we, multi we can factorize it only by 1. And LCM we write as 45 into 86 which gives us 3870. Sum number 6. 15, 30 and 90. When you factorize by 3, you get 3 5s are 15, 3 10s are 30, 3 30s are 90. Then these numbers can be factorized by 5. 5 1s are, 5 2s are and 5 6s are 30. And then... We have 2 1s are 2 and 2 3s are 6. So this way we can factorize. Now left side 3 into 5 into 2 and what remains here also we have to take into 3 answer. 3 5s are 15, 
15 twos are 30 and 30 multiplied by 3 is 90. So this way you can solve and find the LCM of the given numbers. Sum number 7, 105 and 195. Factorized by 3, you get 35 and 65. Factorized by 5, you get 7 and 13. 7 and 13 cannot be factorized further, so we leave them as it is. Now we take LCM as the left column into the bottom row. 3 into 5 into 7 into 13, that gives us 1365. Sum number 8, 12, 15, 45. 3, 4s are 12, 3, 5s are 15, 3, 15s are 45. Now we got 4, 5 and 15. We can divide 5 and 15 by 5. So 4 we write as it is. 5, 1s are 5, 5, 3s are 15. Now, 3 is common factor of all 3, 5 is common factor of only 2 numbers. But still we take it as a common factor in LCM. 3 into 5 into 4 into 3 is your LCM. Final answer 180. 9 sum 63 and 81. 3 21s are 63, 3 27s are 81. I have told you how to do 3, 2s are 6, 2 remains, 2 and 1, 21, 3, 7s are 21. So you can do in your mind calculation, 3, 7s are 21, 3, 9s are 27. LCM is equal to left side 3 into 3 into bottom 7 into 9 which gives you 567. Sum number 10. The numbers given are 18, 36 and 27. We can factorize these three numbers by 3. So we start 3, 6 are 18, 3, 12 are 36, 3, 9 are 27. Again these numbers are divisible by 3. So 3, 2 are 6, 3, 4 are 12 and 3, 3 are 9. 2 and 4 are divisible by 2. So 2, 1 are 2, 2, 2 are 4. And 3 we bring down as it is. So our LCM is left column 3 into 3 into 2 into the bottom row that is 2 into 3 total which gives us 108. So this way we can find the LCM of given numbers. Let us move on to question number 2. Find the HCF and LCM of the numbers given below. Verify that their product is equal to the product of the given numbers. So we have to prove that 32 multiplied by 37 is equal to HCF into LCM of these two numbers. So first we find the factors for 32 and 37. There are no common prime factors. So, 1 is the only common factor. So, HCF is 1. LCM 32 into 37 gives us 1184. Let's multiply HCF and LCM which gives us 1184. Product of 32 and 37 is also 1184. So, this proves that HCF into LCM is equal to the product of the given numbers. Sum number 3, 15, 60. These two numbers we will find their prime factors first. So to find HCF and LCM we follow the same method 3 5s are 15 and 3 20s are 60. Then these two numbers can be divisible are divisible by 5. So 5 1s are 5, 5 4s are 20. HCF is equal to 3 into 5, the common factors, which is 15. And LCM is common factors, that is left, uh, left column, multiplied by the remainders, which is the bottom row, into 4. So 3, 5s are 15, 15, 4s are 60. 
HCF into LCM we will do first which is 15 into 60 gives us 900 and product of 15 and 60 is the same 900. This proves that HCF into LCM is equal to product of the given numbers. Okay, so you will practice the remaining sums and I hope you have followed this practice set 13. So keep safe, keep learning, thank you.